Alright, now I'm going to give you a seeing as I don't come back to the city, why not smash it while I'm here? I'm about to go right into Pitt Street. I don't know what the Greek street I'm on right now. Re Recalculation. Anyway, you will do. That is a part of part of Sydney in the daytime on a Sunday. Recalculation. Shut up. I know I'm lost, I'm going straight. There's a big clock tower. I wouldn't have a clue what it's called. Central Station Clock Tower. It says my video crew. Watch out, people. Uh, I'm going straight. Get out of the way. There's just too many people. And there's no one here. I mean, during the week, this is bumper to bumper, and the streets are just packed with workers. And this is, yeah. Uh, yeah, big Asian, a lot of Asians here, tourists, Chinatown's not far, alright, maybe we're in Chinatown. Yes, if you've got a light rail. Light rail construction. <laughs> a light rail construction getting done down George Street. So George Street is closed. That's why we're going around it. You can probably hear my camera crew whispering all these things to me because I wouldn't have a freaking clue what's in the city. It's okay to talk camera crew. Anyway, that's a nice uh, concrete, nice standstand bridge here to the left. If you can see all that near there. That's Central Station. But yeah, it's, it's a little bridge of some sort. There's it. It is pretty cool, the heritage of Sydney, because all oh, this was built when, when the first settlers booted the Aboriginals out. And it was made to last forever. Even that building there, that would have been built out well over a hundred years ago. The uh, Sydney Central YHA Backpacker Accommodation. Lucky there's signs on the side of the buildings, I wouldn't have a clue. There you go. Sin Railway station, that's central, the main radio, radio, railway station to your left. So off. Where do I take it from here? I'm going straight. I'm heading towards Newtown if you want to know where I'm heading. Supposed to be a good uh, vegan, vegetarian cafe there. Plenty of good vegan and vegetarian places in the city. But I personally rather chop up my own lettuce and stay home and eat it. But it is good having good, well prepared vegan and vegetarian food if you like that. And if you don't like it, if you haven't tried it, go and try it. Try some different taste in life. I mean, you know, how many, how many ways can you burn a piece of meat? If you want to try some new sensations as you get older in life, you probably taste everything there is to taste. Try some vegan and vegetarian stuff. Cooked by proper chefs, it's sensational. Brand new taste you've never tasted before for all you carnivore meat eaters out there. And yeah, more of the same. City, city. Oh, this is Broadway. Town, town. No, not that Broadway. It's just called Broadway. Look at that. There's a building up ahead that's um covered in, you know, ferns. Ferns are growing up the entire building. I think it's pretty spectacular. So one day the entire building will be covered in ferns. They won't be able to see out of their windows. And they'll be pissed. But I'm sure they get somebody out there to cut the weeds. They're probably weeds. The weeds back from their uh, windows. Not sure what the building's called. As you know, we're not sure about anything in here. But it's a pretty cool building covered in weeds. Okay, I'm sure it's got a nice botanical name, these plants or flowers. Whatever they are. Give you a close up as we drive past. If the lights ever change, could be stucky for years. Oh, piss off, bus. Oh, a shot of this, this building. Come on, Corolla. There you go, we're slowing down a bit so you can see the uh, plants growing up the building. Pretty cool. 
pretty hard job mowing it and then a good lawn mower calling Spider-Man for that job yeah, I think we've travelled one kilometre in the last 15 minutes okay maybe five minutes feels like 15 come on the fumes are building up choking up back here So this is a city road we're coming up to as, you can, as I'm reading the sign as we're going to go left into Newtown. Should take the bus line. Well, I'm, like, I'm going to King Street. Okay, I'm going to City Street, which becomes no King Street becomes City Road. No, City Road becomes King Street. Fuck. Again, that's why it ain't come here. <laughs> and I'm and I'm an Uber driver. Hey, have to come and jump in my Uber car if you need a laugh. I'll stress you out, I tell you. I even get lost with GPS. Well, I did quit my Uber driving about six months ago. Yeah, he could be bothered. What the fuck? What are you stopping for? There's no one up ahead. Fucking taxi drivers. Oh, there's plenty of people up ahead. I just stressed out for nothing. Now we got side swipe swipe by the school bus. Oh. Right, we'll take we'll take this left hand. <coughs> Choking up. <coughs> just smoke. I'm telling you. And there's a dude over there wiping windscreens off. Washing windscreens from cars, trying to earn a few bucks for the weekend. He probably makes more money than the average freaking worker doing that. Cash free, tax free. Anyway, I'll take this left. And I'll see how long I can film for. I don't think we'll get into Newtown. Too long of a video. Maybe I'll refilm once we get to Newtown. But um, we'll take this left hand turn and what is that park on the right? Hyde Park? No, not even close. A good step of the day, I had a guess. Oh, what have we got now? And the, it's in the, uh, the old university to the right. There's the old champion making a few coins. Good on him. Nice park. Swimming pool. In the city, it's pretty good. Yeah, and swimming pool in the city. To the uh, right. That'll about do it, eh? Alright, we're off to Newtown, but see you later again.